Uh, so we're really humbled, Scott and I, that you've all taken the time to come around today. Um, it's uh, yes, yeah, so to come along and support Scott's and my new venture. Um, midday isn't everyone's favourite time for a beer, but um, I think we've beaten the. Except for Kat. I, I, this morning I just took a little bit of time to revisit our mission statement that uh, I, I wrote down sort of some months ago and just sort of sum up how, because uh, we had a bit of a drink last night of the beer and just sort of think about how that beer had come out to what we were aiming for uh, way back. And um, um, what I'd written down six or nine months ago was to brew a beer, an assertive flavoured beer with a uniquely Tasmanian, Tasmanian identity. And standing here today, I feel that um, there's little need to change um, that mission statement from, from, back, from back then. Um, we feel that we've brewed a beer that is unique and um, quite Australian with, with the hop profile that we've, that we've used. Um, so, yeah, we've had, already had a variety of comments on, on what sort of beer it is. I mean, we weren't going to label it, but we're getting some saying that it's an amber beer, some saying it's an English style beer with an Australian hot profile, and even had a couple of comments that it's a, you know, more of a dark um, session IPA. But um, and we were really pleased to hear that because we didn't want to say that it's one thing or the other, and, and we just let people sort of make up their own minds. Um, so just briefly, a little background of the business. It's something I've been toiling away at for an extended period now, and come to the conclusion that it's something that Hobart's ready for, that um, you know, our style of business, it's, it's, I've had the ideas bouncing around, and the backdrop to Hobart's Brewing Company is Hobart's Brewing Heritage, and a desire to bring back that variety and interest back to town brewing, is our, you know, our more medium term plans is to situate a brewery right here in town. Um, many of you will be well versed in the resurgence of beer culture throughout the world in the last couple of decades. Uh, America has carved out its own path in craft beer and it's huge over there. Australia and New Zealand has been a bit slower in catching up but um, we're pretty innovative over here and, and I think that um, Australia will catch up quite quickly and Scott and I just really want to be part of that. Uh, Perhaps quite appropriately for me, it took an American to take me and my business plans to the next level. <laughs> uh, we, while I had plenty of flavours and styles that I enjoyed to drink and that I really wanted to, um, to brew after an extended time living in Europe, um, we had to pin down exactly what we liked about, about beers and flavours and I think Scott has nailed what we were after. Um, and also, just a quick mention for Dave McGill at New Brew, who was aware of Scott's aspirations um, to do what we're doing. And, and although he's not here, I just can't thank him enough for introducing us and uh, giving us this opportunity to produce this beer. We're just lot delighted with the result of the beer. And um, before I hand over to Scott for a few just t tasting pointers on the beer that, that we're sort of getting from it and, and the background to it, just wanted to thank a few people. Uh, some of them won't be here, but um, uh, Rob, Troy, and, and Bill Lark for, um, and all the Lark crew for allowing us to have this here today and, and putting our beer on tap. Um, there's numerous examples of, of Bill Lark aiding other businesses around Tasmania um, in their early days. And it's that type of collaboration and early leg up uh, that can really make a difference for a, for a new business to succeed and not to succeed. So you know, I think. Everyone's pretty well aware of what Bill is, is doing for Tasmania and, and small businesses. Um, quick thank you to my investors and business partners who have been ready to help out when I've, when I've asked and they're going to be lending a hand next week once the beers at Beer Fest. Um, my friend Greg Ramsey who had to leave kids and so on, he's got New Zealand whiskey and experience consulting, Rappo, Barn, Burgle and, and a variety of other successful ventures um, in Tasmania and New Zealand. Um, he's been pretty invaluable as a sound, sounding board for me. Um, a couple of other friends who have also helped me out who probably don't want to be mentioned, but um, my mate Steve's been really useful in, in the planning stages, editing some of our, um, uh, our literature that we've been putting out, and it's been really helpful. 
Um, Andrew from the Beer Drinkers, I think, still here. Um, he, he's got a website and blog uh, with a friend of his in Melbourne, and, and what they're doing, uh, they've given us some much needed support this week and exposure in the lead up today. Terrific photos, and I, you know, I suggest you all check out what they're doing. Um, it's quite, I think it's quite exciting and it's really helping uh, the craft brewers in Tasmania to get more exposure. Um, my brother-in-law Will, who I don't think is still here, but he's helped out with the barbecue uh, today. Um, he's you know, one, of, one of Hobart's um, uh, top chefs and, and it's just great that he was um, able to do that. My father-in-law Peter, he's been down from Marawa helping out with the kids so I can, and my <laughs> wife can um, get some work done in the lead up today. He's been a lot to do particularly trying to hold down a full-time job um, and also over the next week so that's that's really helpful and um, and I'd also welcome and thank um, Captain Charles Black, the Harbour Master, the <laughs> one and only Harbour Master of Tasmania for coming along, thank you, and the um, CEO of Ta Tas Ports, Craig Heron, thanks a lot guys and, and yeah, thanks. Um, and finally my graphic designer, and uh, incidentally, my wife, Beck, <laughs> she's um, provided us with a professional edge in our branding, I think, that many startup businesses probably only dream of, and I thank her dearly for her hard work with this. Um, thanks also to my boys for running around somewhere. My <laughs> eldest, Isaac, <laughs> he uh, tells anyone who'll listen that his dad's now brewing beer and asks him if they'd like some. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> That's all for me. Um, thanks for coming along again. And um, Scott, if you just want to come up for a minute. And, yeah. And, um, again, thanks to everybody for coming out. Um, I had a, uh, a former um, head brewer who was fond of saying, the palate is always best in the morning. And so, uh, don't let time be a restraint on drinking beer. Um, it's not without irony that we're kind of launching here at Lark because it was six months ago that Brendan and I first met right over here over a couple of beers where um, Brendan showed me um, the work he had done up to date on the business plan and I shared with him some of my experiences as a brewer and <coughs> over those couple of beers we just started as you do when you start talking about all things beer, is you digress to beers you like drinking. And it was through those discussions that we um, kind of started on the idea of the Harbor Master. The, the name Harbor Master was already there, but the idea of the beer, um, as Brendan mentioned earlier, it's not a particular style. You know, in these days of um, a lot of fine examples of American uh, pale ales being brewed by other breweries and German this and Belgian that. We really wanted to, to enter the market with something really unique and something that would stand by itself. And so that whole idea of brewing a, a Tasmanian ale, though there's no specific style of Tasmanian ale, we're kind of stamping it today saying if there was, this is what we think it would be. And and so it's more of a beer that was created through things that are attributes in beer that we both enjoy and the favorite beers that we enjoy drinking. And, you know, we ended up with a beer that um, we wanted something with a very rich character or color. Um, it's Tasmanian Ale. Tassie's got four seasons. The wind and weather blows through and changes from a summer day to a full-on gale later this afternoon. And so it needs a beer with a, a rich copper color, you know, something that uh, suits the four seasons of beer drinking. And, um, and I think the most important part of um, the beer being an American, I, I do like hop forward beers. And so I wanted hops to be a big part of this beer, but in a very balanced and drinkable way. So a, a nice small background to support those hops was really important, but the um, kind of the finishing touch was that you knew you were drinking an Australian beer, a Tasmanian beer. Three of the four hops that are in this beer are grown in Bushy Park up the road in Tassie, and the fourth one in Victoria, so it, it truly is a, an awesome beer with the hops, and that's the way, you know, it, we wanted it to be presented, so. And it comes in, you know, as a kind of a flavorsome, almost big beer taste, at a nice 4.4 percent, you know, so it's kind of a small package. You can have a few and not get all over, knocked over. So, 
Cheers, everybody. Thanks for coming out.